this video is for my Silhouette Studio users who don't have the ability to cut the paper houses by a layer. So the other way you can do it is you can cut by line color. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, select all of the light green items on our canvas. Um, these are the actual cut um, part of the file. And so I'm going through and I'm selecting everything that's light green. And then I'm going to go up to the color panel here and I'm actually going to click the drop down arrow for the line color. So once I do that, I'm going to choose the color selector tool and I'm going to go into the middle and select this light green color. That changed all the line perimeters on the cut file to match the fill color. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select the pen tool lines, the draw lines, which are the lines that are around the windows and doors. These are not cut lines, they are the pen lines. So that's what I'm selecting right now. And as you can see, I'm going to pull it off of here so you can see exactly what I chose that um, just so you know what I'm selecting. And then I'm going to undo that so they go back into place. Okay, now we're going to go up and we're going to change the line color to these. You do not want the line color to be green or black. It has to be a different color. So I'm going to choose blue for my line color for the pen tool. And once I do that, you can see that the line colors all changed blue on my screen. These are, again, the pen lines that we're setting up right now. Next, we're going to select the wreath. And I'm going to zoom in so that you can see the wreath. And you can differentiate between the cut edge of the wreath and then that middle wreath image that you would use your pen tool for. So we are selecting that outer perimeter. And we're going to go ahead and make it that light green to match the rest of our cut fill and the light green for the fill color. So now that perimeter of the wreath is set up to cut with the light green color. Lastly, there's these black lines in the center of the door. Those are not score lines. Those are actual cut lines so you can open the doors on the houses. So we're going to go ahead and select those and then hold your shift or your command key down or control key on a PC and select that one and then select the other one together. Now these are also cut lines and we, we need to go ahead and change the line color for these. And we're also going to make it that light green. So it's going to be hard to see, but it's telling the machine to cut those. And I'll show you where we're going to do that in just a second. And then the last color you need to be concerned with is the black score lines. And so we're not going to change those. I'm just showing you those black score lines. Um, leave them black. Well, my files are always black as always score lines on my files. And then we also need to remember that the center, this dark green in the center of the wreath, that is a pen line. I'm going to zoom in so you could see it again. So the middle dark green, that like hunter green, that is for the pen tool. So now that we set all that up, I'm going to zoom out and we're going to go over to the send menu so that you can see what we just did. So now here we are in the send menu and there's four options. There's simple line fill and layer. And so we're going to choose the line option, which is the second one over. And you can see all those colors that we set up are here now. So you've got the light green, which is the cut lines, the black, which is the score lines and the blue, which is the blue and the hunter green, which are the pen lines. So we're going to start with the light green, which is the cut lines, and then choose only the light green box. So we're going to select that. Now we're going to go over to material next to the light green. We're going to click the drop down menu and we're going to set up our cut settings for the light green color. So I have a custom setting here, but I'm going to give you the cut settings. 
So now if you look down here in the cut settings, so the blade depth is set to 6, the force is set to 25, the passes are set to 1, the speed is set to 5, and the line segment overcut is checked. And if you click on more, you can see in here that I have my line segment overcut for the start and the end set at 0 0.50. So once you make those settings, you can, if you have an auto blade, it'll automatically select the blade depth. If you have um, just the normal um, cutting blade, you'll need to um, adjust the depth on the blade before you load it into your machine and hit send. Now we're going to move on to the black lines, which are the score lines. And again, I have a setting already, um, a custom setting set up for that, but I will give you the cut depth and things for that. The cut settings for score are a blade depth of one, a force of four, the passes is set to one, and the speed is set to five, no line segment overcut. And this is gonna just do a kiss cut on your fold lines. Um, these fold lines are set up as dashed, so it's gonna kinda give it a perforated fold line. But if you want, you can change those dashed black lines to solid lines, and then it'll do like a straight kiss cut along all of those fold lines. Now the next setting is gonna be our pen tool. So for the pen tool, we're going to go ahead and select the blue, and then you can just set it to regular cardstock under material. But then down on the bottom where it says material is say cardstock and then action, you want to click that drop down menu and you want to change it to sketch. So once you change that to sketch, then your tool will come up as the pen tool and then you need to load whatever color you want that perimeter to be around your windows and doors. I um, put a black pen in when I created them but you can make those windows and doors perimeter any color you want. And then the last step that we're going to do is we're going to change the inside color of the wreath. So we're going to select the green box and deselect the blue box and then we're going to load whatever color pen we want our wreath to be in the machine and you're going to choose sketch and the pen tool again and then you want to um, go ahead and hit send once you do that. I recommend if this is your very first house, first time you're making it, don't put your favorite paper in. Just use an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper so that you can get a hang of the hang of it. 